Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest K in existence. And look, man, we got a ton of NBA 2K24 news. The devs is talking about the crossplay. We got some more information about the builders for new gen and old gen. Y'all like that or y'all still use next to current? Let me know. Let me know. And we got some more information about the new gen badges and the old gen badges. So y'all gonna wanna make sure you watch this full video. I'm gonna tune you in. Before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. If you want more 2K24 news, you want all the greatest tips to become a demigod and not waste your money, help me hit 275k. We're like 970 subscribers off of that, man. You know, do your boy a favor. Hit the like button. It helps Young Swan grow. Okay, so here is the clip, man. Here's the clip. The question was, if you make a My Player on Xbox, can you then use it on PlayStation? Uh, the answer is no. Um, we have cross-platform multiplayer, but it's not cross-platform progression. Mm -hmm. So when you make a, a save Game. on... <laughs> Beat it. When you, when you make a save on... What, the? what was that? When you make a save on Xbox or PlayStation, you can't take it to the WRL. The question was, if you make a My Player on Xbox. So a lot of people, man, they're saying, that's so dumb, why would you expect that? Y'all should feel lucky, all this stupid bro. Listen, first off, no one should feel lucky to have crossplay. What's up with y'all, bro? We literally spend 150 per build plus the game per build 150 plus that's not factoring in gatorade and skill boost etc 150 dollars not 150 kvc do y'all understand and then we're getting cross play later than everyone you feel me it's about time like being grateful and you're paying for a service like there ain't no being grateful you know like be be happy but ain't no <laughs> y'all be tripping y'all got that uh slave mentality my boy respect yourself now ain't who i don't eh, this is kind of like a dumb question but i know there's a ton of people who are gonna ask me this bro a ton of people this basically more like bothers the youtubers because then we won't like be able to use xbox accounts or whatever like playstation accounts and i i know uh people are probably gonna ask the cross progression as in like um your build being able to uh be transferred between like ps5 and ps4 uh i don't think does anyone have the clip of that if you do send it to me um i'm sure they're gonna say no there's no way they're gonna do that i, I think it's definitely possible because in my team you could do it you know they will probably say oh no we don't have the technology i ain't hearing it you know you can make the same builder and badges and all that and have it transferred, but they're not gonna do that, bro. They wanna make the bang for your buck. I'm just telling you, don't even expect it, man. Even though it would be dope. You know, you spend $150 for a damn build and then you gotta remake that hoe or make a different one on a whole different game. And it's like, it's kind of the same. And it's like, it's just not it, bro. <laughs> so right here, man, we got some builder information, some badge information. Make your mark on a cynic coastal neighborhood neighborhood returns leak 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 rich with postcard excuse and blistering competition use the revamped player builder revamp revamped is a synonym for refurbish hey okay? it sound like hammy down basically so maybe they are gonna give the same builder that next gen was and maybe with some tweaks that's what i assume uh probably so they'll probably have badge tiers and stuff. Badge tiers are horrible. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about badge tiers. And then look at, look, they say, so you can play to your strengths and get the most out of the updated badge system. So they're saying updated as in like they're giving next gen, old gen, like they're giving the old, like 2K23 next gen, that badge system to then current gen, which is a L. The current gen had better badges and you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> how the badges work without the badge tier and all that it, it just it worked better bro you didn't have to invest so much time and money into your build to really get what you paid for you feel me so i want y'all to hear this conversation between kai and adam 22 okay listen to this i'm feeling good how you feeling bro but you just had a bb Work, huh? 
Why why is he why is he trying to talk black and stuff? What's up with him? He trolling? What's up with this vulture, man? Listen to this. This is 2K related. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this Adam situation too. Disgust. You said what? That was, that was just work, you know that a day at work, you know? So you not like affected by this shit? Hell no. It's like the best thing that happened to me. I wish I thought of this a long time ago, bro. That is Yeah, man, we going crazy right now. Like I, I, I had no idea that people were gonna be so uh like we only had to turn the dials a little bit, get a little uh -huh. bit freakier than we were used to get. And now everybody is like enchanted by uh, our relationship. I feel like Blueface and Krishan all of a sudden, but we don't have to fight. Mm. Just you know, let let the, the bodyguard homie beat the bit, you know? Damn. Hey yo my man, I got next. So look, you heard what he just said? Hey yo my man, I got next. Where do you think he got that? What 2K do you think he got that from? This little kid, especially back in the day. Where do you think he got that from? He's part of the 1% that people are shaming for having a voice about the game, right? But this 1% person controls a ton of casuals. That'll bring a ton of casuals to your game, you know? So it's like when when you try to disregard the one percent's voice, you also disregard their army of casuals. <laughs> the creator not liking the game, he ain't gonna be putting out content promoting your game and making it look fun to play and inspiring people to play. I've inspired millions. I've inspired hella creators that are over a million subscribers some that will get eventually a million subscribers so like that one percent voice matters because if we're not catered to on some level the game is gonna drastically suck all these people you've turned away imagine them casually playing 2k because you kept in some of these gameplay features that they love how much that would help your game you know it's just it's dumb to just appeal to some bot old head that doesn't even play online. The style he plays will always be the same. He will never notice the difference. He can't even tell. He's not even talented enough to tell the difference between two Ks on a on a in deep level. But the one percent, you know, they usually can, and that will sway them to take their casuals with. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. Double H comes up with an idea saying 2K should give up on the affiliations and make it PlayStation versus Xbox. I think this would be a immaculate idea. W idea, young H. You feel? That would like really like, cause console war has been going on for what, decades? How long these hoes been out? <laughs> I think they've been out decades, like two decades or something. I don't, I don't know, two or three. I, 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 don't, I don't know. But, bro, like people are serious about them console stuff. Like that's like a, that's like embedded in like humanity. <laughs> like that, like bro, like people will really go to war. Like they be getting serious. There's always been crazy debates in within the 2K community. Probably worse than like any other type of community bro because despite what y'all might think like 2k is extremely competitive that's why people think it's very toxic right because you can like pull up on people and see them and pull up you can't really do that with these other games like straight just pull up on somebody you know it's completely different and it gets like mad personal that's just how basketball is but there's always been talks of playstation xbox with especially within the stage the pro-am you know that's the one percent that have that influence youtubers so it's like a big like spectacle i think it would be dope but i i don't think they would ever do nothing like that but um that would be immaculate i don't think any game has ever did anything like that have they okay they're gonna throw in some uh my nba lebron era Y'all let me know if y'all excited for that. So, Splash tweeted out, no sarcasm. What was good in 2K23? Like, what did you actually enjoy about 2K23? And I really sat there and thought. And I, I really thought, man, it's just, the only thing I can think of is just game chat, bro. Like, everything else is just, eh. You know? I, I don't know, man. Can y'all, like, come up with this? I really, I don't, I don't think I could think of anything, bro. So Young Steezo tweets out, 
take adrenaline boost out the game for 2k24 it was implemented to limit dribblers but all it did was force the majority of players to have force players to have the same stop and go rim run play style to compensate killing the creativity in the game styles for guards and making the game more slow pace redundant and boring i say this the 2k player that understands the movement better than anyone saying this regardless he's still going to be beyblading and he's still telling y'all the truth See, my whole thoughts about this, man, is look, Stizo don't even use adrenaline boost, right? With how he dribbles and stuff, right? But he even recognizes it's a problem. A lot of people think people are telling the truth about the adrenaline because they're having problems, they're losing, whatever, but it's not true. I never lose. I've never lost in the park, you feel me? Stizo, ultra high win percent. You know, we're trying to enjoy the game. We could win every single game, 22-0, every last point, and still be unhappy because of how things are moving, annoying things that happen, and just how restricted we feel, man. Like, people are trying to have fun, bro. It's not ever a skill issue. Where people are telling y'all this, and it's just like, y'all gotta stop trying to be coddled your whole life, man. Step up, man. Evolve. Stop complaining. Stop looking for the easy way out. Stop putting, trying to put shackles on people, man. Don't nobody play like Steezer. If anyone's a meta player, man, you'll run into that every one out of 10 games, one out of 15 games, especially if you're a casual. That's if you go online and play. Stop complaining, bro. You feel me? Get better. So Coaster tweeted out, do mads I'm starting on current gen. I got a younger fan base. Until they make one game, I'm gonna be on current with my people. If y'all have a problem, I don't care. Have fun in the city, right? And there's a, he's getting hate for this and people always get hate for playing current gen. Listen, and by the way, Coaster, I done seen that you don't follow me, boy. What's your problem? You got an issue? Huh? <laughs> I was being too real about the game. You know you feel the same way. Once you get off this high, you're going you gonna to speak the truth. But uh, this guy is going to probably pass me and subscribers in a few months, bro. Like, whatever he's doing for his channel, like, we do this for a bag to grow, to get a fan base. That's what's right. A lot of y'all would do the same exact thing if he's seeing way more numbers and all this and that. You shouldn't have a problem with him playing current gen. What's the problem? Talk to 2K. <laughs> that's 2K, bro. That That's not, come on. Y'all gotta understand as creators, bro. Either, here, here here's your here's your thing. If y'all If y'all wanna complain and do all this about it, either roast the company or roast the community right roast the people that view it okay because us as creators we only play what gets us views we are literally the creation of the community that's what y'all don't get a lot of people complain about build videos this that did dribble moves Bob. this is what people click what are you talking about people post certain stuff because they see it get views for other people and that's what they have with success with the most y'all are creating people's personalities you're creating people's content that they post you're creating all this stuff it's the community that creates the creator for 90 percent of creators so you know start policing yourself a little better you feel me and they're gonna have some ball out w mode i don't even know why this is even in 2k it's never playing no one ever plays it just put the bitches in the park bro serious y'all make sure y'all turn on them post notice man check out my other 2k24 videos especially the ones that y'all see dev in it okay like the space y'all need to like know what's coming out with this 2k stuff is very important but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome, dome.